when the pandemic started, I'm sure we were all very shocked and frustrated. This harmful virus had quickly stopped our normal lives. Then we were quickly stuck at home because of it. The pandemic has brought us frustration, inconvenience, isolation, all of which are negative things. Well, what I'm thinking is, is it possible to find something positive from this negative situation? At least one thing? While it may be hard, there are absolutely some benefits we can find in this pandemic. From the news, we can see that there have been many companies facing bankruptcy in 2020, like Sue Plantation, New York and Company, Jason Penny. Hmm, most of them are retail stores and restaurants. Retail stores and restaurants, wait, the most popular retail stores and restaurants that come to my mind are Costco and McDonald's. Let's see how these two companies are doing. Costco first. Here is their revenue from 2016 to 2020. 2020, the revenue increased 17% from 2019 and it's highest compared to other years. How come? Most likely because they have a stable delivery service. So when did Costco start launching their delivery service? October, 2017. Yes, 2017. Now, let's check the revenue of McDonald's. Here's the report from 2017 to 2020. As you can see, it is affected by the pandemic, but not that much. The revenue of 2020 is less than 2019, but almost the same as 2018. Comparing these two companies, I've noticed that the thing they have in common is the model to provide service without online service, either through drive through or delivery service. Comparing these two companies, I've noticed that the thing they have in common is the model to provide service with our own site service, either through drive throughs or delivery. You know, what inspires me the most is, Costco started launching a delivery service years before the pandemic even started. That reminds me of the stories of another two bookstores my homestay used to tell me about. Boulder's Bookstore and Barnes and Noble. These two bookstores were all selling books and they were competitors. But now, Boulder's Bookstore no longer exists. Instead, Barnes and Noble have bought the company and combined it. Why? Boulder's always stayed with its old fashioned style of selling physical books. But Barnes & Noble have planned online selling since 1997. It didn't change that much at the beginning. But the times are changing and trends eventually change from physical purchasing and reading in store to doing it online instead. When Borders realized the problem and want to change, it was too late. No more chances for them to fix the problem. Then. Borders Bookstore closed in 2011. Instead, Barnes & Noble continues to live today. Although their revenue is going downward, it's enough to stay open. So, as I found out, companies need to have the motivation to be creative and innovative. When the society's trends change and companies still stay in the same place, they'll be left behind by society and eventually declined. Same as company closing. Another bad thing we heard during the pandemic is unemployment. In 2020, 7.7 .7 million workers had lost their jobs. Sad, right? But I found another interesting fact. In 2020, the top two higher jobs were personal care aides and home health aides. 
were 861,000 and 1,020,000 jobs were hired separately. Other jobs were like veterinary, physical therapist, and plumbers. When we stayed inside house for too long, our body became the biggest issue. These jobs were hired the most because our bodies, pets, and houses were having problems from use, and there weren't so many people to fix them. So, when more people lost more job, there will also be some new opportunities open to us. As for people, when a new environment has come, adaptation usually finds the best way to live and the quickest to adjust. After all, the quickest changes are prepared for the fittest. So, to companies, to ourselves, we need to keep asking us one question. What if our current business doesn't work? What if our current job position no longer exists? What can we do? That will bring us the motivation to innovate and adapt. I think these are the thoughts and inspirations I get from pandemic, which is a very positive and useful thing to us. Do you agree with that? Thank you.